Hi everyone, this is Joel Pettit from Joel Pettit Law. I want to do another vlog post uh, to highlight a flipbook that I recently created called Seizing IDES Success, a visual overview of the integrated disability evaluation system. Now, why did I create this? Put simply, I wanted to uh, create workflows that would give everyone a baseline from which to work from that is equal for everyone. Because as we know, a picture is worth a thousand words. And depending on the injuries a service member may or may not have sustained, they not, can't always retain those words. Um, for instance, I focus a lot on mental health and TBI cases. And having a Visio uh, diagram, a workflow, for the entire IDES process will help someone who has memory issues uh, more, than you can, more than you can understand. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a game changer because um, when they're asked, hey, wh where, what stage is your case in? A lot of times, um, no matter what injury someone has, they'll say, well, I really don't know because, and they'll have a laundry list of people they've spoken to. Um, and then also they'll have an equally or greater long laundry list of, of the issues they're facing. So you can tell they really do know their cases. They know the, the substantive issues. Um, they have a, a great grasp of usually the, uh, um, the evidentiary issues, but the phase matters. Um, and why is this? Is because um, there are certain um, rights and processes that uh, service members can avail themselves of, um, such as um, an impartial medical review before their package is sent to the formal board. That would be uh, um, in the, uh, the um, I should, or I would say the PEB, the, um, the initial uh, litigation stage. Um, so that way, if they have an issue with it, an impartial medical provider can look over their case and say, hey, this makes sense, or no, you know, it doesn't make sense. Um, also, they can do a, 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 an MEB report rebuttal. So even after that's done, meaning, oh, everything looks kosher, hey, you know what? I think the MEB report wasn't exactly accurate. Well, that is a very powerful tool. But again, if a, a client doesn't understand um, the phase that they're in, it's hard for them to necessarily bring that up. Because sometimes attorneys, um, as all professionals do, you get busy and you want to go over this with your client. And if you're going too fast, it'll blow right over a client's head and not because they can't grasp it, because they may not have even heard of it. And that's where um, these workflows really come into play. Because um, I just basically diagrammed the pieces that I saw were the most troublesome. And that's the IDES phase generally, the IDES process generally, which is very long, um, but also the physical evaluation board process, the uh, medical retention review process, the temporary disability retirement list process, the CRSC calculation process, which is the combat related special compensation calculation process, and the uh, board of correction for military records process. Now, clients that I've had, once they understand these processes, it just, it's a game changer for them um, when it comes not, not just for understanding their case, but also peace of mind. Because when they, when they have that peace of mind, they're more efficient. They're more confident in knowing what lies ahead, meaning the options. Now, we don't always, uh, uh, always get the optimal result for every case because we don't have uh, the facts or the laws on our side. There's a lot of reasons, but that's the point, is we can get closer to optimal when everyone involved knows what phase and where um, the pitfalls lie. And that's where these workflows come in, is having a more uh, a calm, uh, a more informed client means me as an attorney, I mean, that means I can communicate more quickly and efficiently with my client because they have a certain level of understanding that I don't have to rehash because basically the stove piped um, per, uh, uh, personnel within the process, which, which is the PEB liaison process, uh, PEB liaison officer, excuse me, um, that person who does all the admin, they don't see everything because they don't see the functional piece. The lawyers, we didn't see the admin piece because we were focused on the substantive legal pieces. And that's why I wanted to bring it all together so that my clients didn't, don't necessarily need all these people coming together to share their knowledge when their knowledge is out there in the public realm it just hasn't been put together in a way that's so easily digestible and understandable so that's what i did because it'll benefit not just my clients but everyone in general and it'll make the process smoother for us all so i hope um, you go look it up uh, um, on my website just joelpettitlaw.com um, i've i hope you've enjoyed the video i enjoy making these um, and i hope to be making more in the future um, and please uh, be safe and have a good day. Thanks.